Hello everyone, this is Paulina from Pencil and welcome to today's tutorial covering how to sign up to Pencil Spaces and get set up for the first time. Now, the first thing you'll do is go into your browser and type in pencilspaces.com. Then you can click try it now. And once you click this, you'll be redirected to a sign up page. If you already have an account, simply click sign in instead or you can continue with Google or Facebook. When you create your account, you can either create an account with email, Google, or Facebook. If you create an account with your email, you will need to verify your email. But in this case, I'll be demonstrating how to sign up with Google. So click continue with Google and then select an account. The first time you log into Pencil Spaces, you'll automatically be brought into your first space where you see this pop up to invite anyone. Now by default, spaces are publicly accessible via link. So anyone with the link can access this space. However, you can also restrict any of your spaces and only let people you invite over email access the space. These permissions can be changed at any time. If I want to invite someone via email, just click the text field at the top and type in your participants' emails. Once you've typed in the email, click enter and then choose whether or not you want your invitee to be a participant or a host. Just click the drop down where it says participant and click owner to make them a host. Otherwise, just click participant and send the invite. If you want to invite someone via link, just make sure that the space is publicly accessible, copy the link, and then send it to anyone through WhatsApp, email, even in a calendar invite. Now let's go over how you can create a calendar invite in Google Calendar or even in any other calendar. Simply enter the calendar of your choice and then select the time when you'd like to create the event. Create an event title. In this case, we'll just call it Pencil Spaces Event, and then invite any of your participants. Then instead of using another video conferencing tool, you can simply add the Pencil Spaces link that you copied earlier to the location field. You could also add this into the description box if you'd like. If you'd like this to be a recurring event, simply make it repeat as you normally would with any other event. Then click Save. Now let's go over this from the perspective of someone who just got invited to a space. First, let's go through the invite via email. Just go to the, just have your participant check their email and click go to space. If they have an account in Pencil, they'll automatically be redirected into the space that you sent them to. But if they don't have an account, they'll be asked to create an account beforehand. Now that I've learned how to invite people into my space and how to get my invitees to join me, let's go over how you can set up your video and microphone for any video conferencing needs. First, make sure that your permissions are enabled in the browser. Just navigate to the small lock icon next to the URL where it says view site information. Then you should be able to see if your camera and microphone permissions are turned on. Make sure that these are turned on so that you can turn on your video. Then just turn on your video or your microphone and an audio video settings panel will pop up automatically. When you do this for the first time, it'll show up for your participants as well, indicating that a call is about to start. In the audio and video settings panel, I can change my webcam, microphone, and speakers. Over here, I can also mute myself, turn my video off, or just keep one of them on. Whenever I confirm my settings, they'll be saved in the actual call itself. As you can see, I can see my participants cursor while they're in the space with me. If they draw anything on the whiteboard, I can see anything change in real time. In Pencil Spaces, I also have access to an infinite number of whiteboards 
alongside the infinite whiteboard that I have here. Just click on the drop down near this name of your space, and you could see that we have one board created with some squiggles on it. If I want to create a new board, I can just click new. You could also rename your space to anything that you'd like, or you can rename any of your boards. Now you know how to get set up in your first space. Let's show you some basics about the spaces management page. I'm going to click leave this space, which will redirect me to the spaces management page. And here I have the ability to see a preview of all of the spaces I've created in the past. In addition, I can see all of the participants that have joined me before. I can see exactly what the space is called and I can see a preview. If I want to create a new space, just click the new space button on the top left. All spaces save automatically, meaning that you'll be able to access them at any point on your account, or you can access them by the link. They never get deleted unless you delete them yourself. Now that you're set up on pencil spaces, make sure that you bookmark this page or just install the lightweight pencil desktop app so that you can reference it at any point. Alternatively, you can always revisit pencilspaces.com to access the platform. We would love to hear your feedback and we're really excited to see what you can create on the platform. Thank you for watching.